There are stick captains and there are carrot captains, good cops and bad yeah. cops. Which are you? Um, probably somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. like, I think sometimes um, I'm probably more like towards the, the carrot end. But yeah, I think you have to have probably a little bit of uh, both within your leadership style to, to reflect the group. And I don't think you could just be one because I think if you just... It, would, would wear off, do you know what I mean, when people are like, oh, she's constantly going to dangle this carrot out for us, like, well, yeah. actually, that, that, that's going to, that'll mm. wear off, and same with you, you're very, like, straight down the line, you've got a great leadership team that um, you can sometimes give people a bit of a nod if you might need a bit more of a, a raised voice at times, or people to get a different, a different message uh, across. And you've been such an ever-present figure within that leadership team that I imagine you don't really fluff your lines these days, but have you ever had a bit of a shocker and gone the wrong way out of a tunnel or completely <laughs> mucked up your speech or started singing the wrong anthem? Do you know what? Um, there's a few times I like, even though I've run out, I'm like, where do we have to stand? Like, sometimes it's different with different teams. Sometimes you have a flag out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have mascots. Sometimes you have people out there. Sometimes it can be, sometimes you're going out to the opposite side of where you're going to be standing. So it can be actually quite tricky. Um, and then sometimes like you're set and they're like, can you just move? So everyone's like shuffling along. <laughs> uh, one um, time we were out on tour in uh, America, I think it was and I got the, the words of the national anthem wrong. Well, it's like the only time I've ever done it. And then I just started singing like the wrong lines. I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Was that on TV? Um, it was on like, it wasn't caught like enough because obviously they, they don't like, sometimes they don't pick it up mm -hmm. whether you are, but the, the girl next to me uh, heard and she didn't let me forget it or let the team um, forget it either. So that was quite funny. So being captain, that doesn't buy you immunity from being teased. No, <laughs> captain buys you no immunity. In fact, it probably like means you're the target for for a lot of the stuff to come but yeah so what sort of nicknames do you get as captain so everyone calls me sunter so like so like um so sarah hunter so mm -hmm. i was at uni and i was a fresher um and they decided at the time to write all um the like nicknames of freshers on their forehead and i was like well i don't have one um so just call me like sarah and then someone was like, call a hunter. But like they'd already written the S and black marker pen. So then they just wrote the rest of my Shunter. surname. So Sunter, but without the H. So. Oh, fantastic. And that's where it came from. And it's stuck ever since. Yeah, like everyone. And there's variations of it. Like if people have been affectionate, they might call me Sunty. Like <laughs> if, like Sunt bags, like Sunts, like all sorts of different like variations of it. So That's so, yeah. ridiculous, but I love it. I've also heard you're quite easy to... Frightened yeah. to speak. Yeah, people play on that a lot. So like they'll be hiding round corners and doors, <laughs> like waiting for me to come. And yeah, um, they generally get the the shock factor in um, like once or twice a camp. So twice yeah. a camp, poor yeah. thing. You yeah. must be on your last nerve constantly. Yeah. <laughs> but I forget. So rather than being aware of it, I forget. I'm like in my own little world, and then they'll like jump out, and I'm like, oh. I'm looking so. forward to one sort of kind of like a highlights reel then of the yeah. best scaring sons yeah. video. Is coming yeah, out at some point. Cam. Is it true that before the age of 10 you played Wembley twice? Yeah, it is. Um, like the old Wembley as well. So I was very fortunate to be at a primary school um, and they had a, a rugby league coach come in. And our teacher at the time, um, Sheila Tickell, uh, was asked about having um, a group of boys to work with. Um, and she's like, no, no, you can come in, but you've got to work with the class, which is girls and boys. So, like, even back then, like, they were way ahead of their times in terms of mm, like, gender, <laughs> gender equality, all that. Um, so they delivered um, like eight weeks or whatever it was of rugby. And then we didn't know this at the time, but then there was like this project um, in the northeast to choose two pupils from each of the schools they'd been going in. So um, I was fortunate enough to be one of the two from my school to be chosen to go and form like a bit of a Bob Arians team, really. Um, we had a few training sessions and then we went down and played at Wembley before. I think it was like, uh, like maybe the Australia, like Great Britain game, something like that, which was absolutely amazing uh, experience as a sort of nine year old to, to play. And then I continued to play outside of school because I enjoyed it so much. And then there was another opportunity for, for um, people 
to be selected to go down and again I was um, fortunate enough to, to be chosen to do that and I was asked to be captain as well so like, it was pretty a pretty special moment to like say have a not many people get to play at Wembley and I was lucky enough to, to do it twice. So. You mentioned running out into Wembley and that's pretty special but you've had a career that has allowed you to run out into some amazing stadia worldwide. I was wondering, in your 119 caps yes. now, <laughs> what has been the biggest pinch yourself? I can't believe I'm here moment. Do you know what? There's probably been like quite a few. Um, I think the first one you probably do is y your first cap, like because mm -hmm. ultimately that's like the start of your dream um, and where you've you wanted to get to and it was all it's almost like and for me it happened sooner than I was expecting so I was like oh my god I can't actually believe I'm stood like about to to run out for England and stand and singing the national anthem mm -hmm. with so the right words yeah I did I did learn the word for for that and um, so that's probably the first one um the next one was probably when we were stood to go and collect our winners' medals in 2014, like just looking around um, the the stadium and the girls and being like, oh my god, we've actually done it! We've actually won a World Cup! This is like insane! We're world champions! Like this is what we've been working so hard for, and it's something like very few people can actually like call themselves. The other one that stands out is like my hundredth cap. Um, and I don't normally get too emotional before um, games. I'm quite focused around what I need to do, how I need to play, that sort of thing. And I just remember, like, we was at the stoop and you, you have to run out by yourself, which I don't really like anyway. So then, and it was right over the other side where I had to go, so I've got this whole pitch to run the course. Yes. Um, and like, as I'm running out, I'm like, I genuinely can't believe this is happening. Like, I dreamt of playing like one time for England, but to be there running out for your 100th cap was just like unthinkable. And I remember standing on the other side and just being really choked up. And um, I knew my mum and dad were coming, but I didn't know my brother and niece were coming. And I saw them and that literally just set me off. And Amber Reid was vice captain at the time. And I just remember literally like stood next to her, gripping onto her for like dear life, like trying not to just like physically like, burst into floods of floods of tears so try to hide try to hold back the emotion but they're probably like some of the biggest moments like you say I pinch yourself and gone wow like this is pretty special.